So we're here with the Pireta, and hi, so who are you? Well, welcome. I'm Mario Dauria. I'm uh, the head engineer in Pireta. We are a company based uh, in England, Teddington, near London, and we do conductive textiles. Uh, our sort of mantra is that we don't use conducting ink, we don't make conductive fabric, we make fabric conductive, and that's exactly what we do. We create conductive patterns on virtually any kind of fabrics. It could be synthetic, natural, stretchable, woven, knitted, and non-woven. We are really not limited to the, um, to the composition of the fabric. And uh, we, uh, our, our pride is in a few peculiar points. One is that we don't change the handle and drape of the fabric. It really feels as if there was no conductor printed on it. The stretchability is preserved. There is no difference in the stretchability of the fabric. There is no limitation. In this process, we create a thin metal coating at the fiber level. This allows us also to keep the, uh, the stretch and the breathability of the fabric. There is no interposer layer. Um, and if you look here, this is an example of how we can stretch the fabric without losing conductivity, without losing connection. So uh, there's a thin layers of something. There's metallic. a thin layer of metal. What, me what kind of metal? At the moment, we're using copper with a passivation of silver, but we are not really limited to those materials. If required, we can use any material, even gold or other more noble materials. Our patented process is based on the creation of a catalyst layer that allows the creation of this uh, conductive layer, of this purely metallic conductive layer. And it is this conductive layer that allows us to have quite another unique feature. We can solder directly on it. We don't need to use uh, low temperature soldering. So we, this is common uh, lead or lead free solder with a soldering iron and the connection is really strong to the point that the weakness is the fabric itself. So if I try to rip this off, what I will ruin is the fabric and the soldering will still be uh, intact. So how do you put the metallic stuff into the fabric? Uh, the process is a five-step process. Uh, it is a printing process where we deposit chemistry on the fabric which creates a catalyst layer and then the fabric is immersed into a bath which coats the fibers of the thread which makes the fabric into a thin layer uh, of, of metal. So it's a purely metallic layer that with a, chemi with a wet chemistry process is applied at the fiber level. So then you just use it as any other kind of um, uh, fabric to make the, the, the garment? Yes, we can apply this technology at any step of the process, not just at the, uh, at the fabric, plain fabric stage, but also at the finished garment. Uh, we have examples where we apply that on a glove. Glove? There it is. So this was printed directly on the glove. So the glove was both as is, already stitched, and the, the technology was applied to create conductive tracks, which with these conductive, with these tilt tilt switches, we can have sensing some extent on, um, on the fabric. So uh, what, what team do you have? What's your... Well, uh, we are a startup. The team is not big, but it's definitely good. Um, this is Ian Russell. Hello, Thank our CCO. 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 So that means uh, chief commercial officer. Commercial. Yeah. So you're making this into a huge uh, commercial success. We hope so. Yeah. Early days for us. Early days. But yeah, that's what we're trying to do. We're here seeking development partners, joint development partners. It's it is early days for us as a business, but um, we've got a strong team and we've got strong backers. So yeah, we are we're seeking partners who can help us produce the next generation of wearable products. So what kind of partner do you need? Is like Nike, uh, Puma, uh, or what? What uh, are you thinking? Yeah, or sports anyone? apparel, medical devices, consumer electronics, 
uh, there are a large number of brands who are looking to uh, produce wearable products that are based on textiles, so moving from either componentized products that you might wear on your wrist to products that are uh, truly wearable garment type products that can be functionalized and made intelligent with, with e-textiles. And, and what do you do? Well, in here I am the, the engineer, so um, it's my duty to a bit create the patterns, create the demonstrators, I'm in charge of the hardware, of the design and of the uh, software and of the mechanics part. I'm so what happens when you put in a washing machine? Does it just pull off the No, fibers? it's perfectly fine. Really? Yes, there is, we, we run some tests and we do, did not find traces of the metal. Of course, the washing, the washing process wears the fabric as it wears the coating. It's like after many washes, the color on your shirt will fade, or, but it is that kind of wear that happens. But it does not fall off the fibers. It remains functional, it remains conductive. Uh, the, the bond of the metal to the fibers is very strong, it's very robust. So in terms of uh, uh, stretch cycles and rub testing and washing, uh, it's a robust process and the conductivity, the functionality is retained. Um, there has to be some issues, right? What's, what's your issue? <laughs> what, do you have any issues? Well, we like, we like to think that we really overcome a lot of the hurdles and of the limitation of other conductive on fabric technologies. Um, What's the other technologies out there? Do well, something you, completely different? You have conductive thread and conductive inks. Conductive thread, you will need embroidery. It's besides being a slow process, it can get very expensive because there's a lot of thread that needs to be put down. Difficult to solder to it. Printed conductive inks, you generally need some sort of plastic interposer layer. Because the in ink sits above the textile, it's not inherently stretchable. So we've, we've, we've spoken to customers who've tried both of those alternative technologies and they're not satisfied with them. And you can see why, because they have a, fundamentally they have a negative impact on the performance of the fabric. You don't have any negative impact on the performance? No, the fabric is left fundamentally unaltered. It keeps all the breathability and the stretchability. There is really no fundamental change. The only thing that, that you see is that there, that there is a color and that it's printed. Maybe the only drawback is that it's not transparent. Yeah. So uh, what are you showing on your video? Is it a demo? Um, it, is a, it? it is a summary of what we've said until now. Um, you don't have the play button? The yeah. Why is it play? That's fast. And then, yeah, you got it? So there there we are. on your video it shows some... Uh, so is, have you shown this before? Uh, yes, we have been to a couple of other uh, events. Uh, usually in UK because we are a UK based uh, company. You don't sound like a UK based. Oh, oh, well, I'm, I'm joking, I don't know. <laughs> no, no, but, uh, I, I'm Italian, my Pireta accent may... sounds like Italian also, right? Pireta it comes from a Latin name, it's the name of a butterfly. It's called the, the glass wing butterfly because we add functionality without having those uh, obvious feeling of adding an extra layer to the fabric. So Pireta is actually a Latin name. That's hence the name. So what's going to happen? Uh, because it's great to be able to solder stuff on it. That's mm -hmm. very important, right? It makes then life you can have a lot easier. A higher performance kind of things. You can have all the sensors you have in a smartwatch on your clothes. All the processors. This is a hard sensor. Things. This is actually out of commercial components. There is nothing. There is no component in here that you wouldn't be able to buy yourself. What we provide is the interconnect. You know, the, the important thing is there's a, there's a whole trend in the industry to, to support the movement of these wearable technologies from, as I said, enclosures and boxes into wearable textiles. So sensors are, are evolving into stretchable, conformable sensors. Um, batteries are developing so that they're conformable and stretchable. The key thing that is missing is a good interconnect technology and that is the piece of the puzzle that we, we provide. An interconnect technology that doesn't affect the fabric, that is, allows the fabric to re remain breathable, stretchable, uh, retains the handle and drape. So how many of the other components will be flexible? Flexible battery, are you interested? Or? We are definitely interested in flexible there? battery and flexible electronics. 
this is just an added element to our uh, to our technology. Um, our fundamental aim is to create a truly wearable uh, technology. If you have a smartwatch or smart goggles, you are adding an extra piece of technology. But what if you could wear your shirt, your garment, your normal everyday clothes and have the functionality embedded in that? That would be wearable technology, not an extra piece like a watch. It's an extra piece of technology that it's on your, it's on your body, but it's not like you wear like clothes. And that's our aim, to enable truly wearable technology. So the one you have here, you said it was copper. Uh, it, it, it seems to be a fit your, so why don't you have it in your nice suits right now? <coughs> How far are we from the, you having cool prototypes that are like wearable? Well, <coughs> there is really no limitation in that. I just, we just have not put the suit under the machine and printed with it. <laughs> so it's just like a week or what? Huh? You have everything? You just need to it, start making prototypes? We did you want to do that with, with the partners? Yes, exactly. That's not our, we, we want to be led by customers. We don't want to be producing products. We're here to provide the process to enable our customers to produce those great products. That's what we're trying to do. All right. Cool. So looking forward to uh, this changing the whole world, right? Fantastic. Hopefully it's yes. happening? Yeah. Okay, cool.